One of our core values is the calm, and the calm is all based off of knowledge and expertise. So we want you to understand what makes a good smile. Now, when you think of people in Hollywood or some one of your friends that are like, oh, I love their smile, many times we immediately think it's because they have straight teeth. The reality is that straight teeth is a small part of what makes a smile really nice. There's three other things that are more important than straight teeth. Maybe not more important, but just as important as straight teeth. Um, the first is what we call incisor display or VIP, vertical incisor display. When the person's smiling, regardless of how straight the teeth are or how wide the smile is, we wanna see their entire front teeth. And we position the brackets and the Invisalign trays in such a way that we can see the entire front teeth. That all the studies show that that is the most aesthetic smile. So VIP is number one. Number two is the width of the smile. We want what we call a 12 tooth smile. So when you smile, we wanna have a really nice wide big smile so that as you're looking at them, you can see all the teeth go back there. 12 tooth smile. Most orthodontists optimize for maybe an eight or six tooth smile. If people have had extractions, it's gonna be a six tooth smile because they're not optimizing for the width. That's huge. Julia Roberts, people love her teeth, love her smile, right? Why do you love it? because she's got VIP and she's got a 12 tooth smile. Her teeth actually aren't straight. If you look close enough, you'll see that they're not that straight, but people love her smile. The third thing that we're optimizing for is what we call smile arc. If we do traditional orthodontics with traditional braces, we're gonna place the brackets in the middle of the tooth. And when we place the braces in the middle of the tooth, what that does is it makes the teeth nice and straight we can see them vertically and maybe with the width, but the bottom edge of the teeth is gonna be straight across. It doesn't look right. You may have seen people, or look close, pay attention, that got their braces off, teeth look straight, but you're like, man, their smile doesn't look that good. It's be most likely that they don't have smile arc. There's gonna be some animations later on in the video to show you what smile arc is. So those three things are really unique. Now, that's our end, that's our end like, result that we're always striving for. But how we get there is totally different than what everybody else does. One, we're using a self-ligating bracket, using some of the smallest, most comfortable braces in the entire world that have ever been engineered, we are using. The wires that we use are the smallest, most flexible, most comfortable wires in the world. They react to the body temperature of the patient. So they're really flexible, so they go in nice and gentle, but then as the patient warms them to 98 degrees with their just transient body temperature, the wire becomes more firm and moves. So the technology is more comfortable. We don't use headgear, we don't use bands, we don't use traditional old school big bulky braces, we don't use painful expanders. Those are all traditional old things that we don't use to get that result. There are orthodontists that optimize for that a result that I first told you, the VIP smile arc and 12 tooth smile, that use the traditional stuff. But I believe that's not as comfortable and we prioritize comfort. We wanna make sure that we have comfort, right? The third thing is how we do it. We have an incredible team. Remember, we don't have staff, we have a team. We um, have a board certified orthodontist. Only one out of three orthodontists are board certified. We have an orthodontist that's an engineer. We have an environment, comfortable chair, bean bags up front, massage chairs up front, memory foam in the back, 3D TVs up above, instruments that are around it. Like everything we do is to make sure it's just, it's just the bomb and the maximum, the best. So that's a little bit about the care that we're delivering. Oh, the other thing that's great is we have texting. We're just super, everything is optimized to be really easy for the patient. One thing I wanna to clarify to you is Harvard went and looked and interviewed 2,000 people and they said, when you think about patronizing or going to any business, what is it, why do you stay loyal to them? What is it about them that you like? And they said, first and foremost, that they had to feel like they were getting the result that they paid for. But the second thing actually wasn't the customer service. It wasn't how nice they were. It was how good at delivering it easily they were. So you can think about this in your life. Um, if you have like fast food, sometimes you just do fast food, not because it's the best quality or the person there is 
super nice to you, but because it's easy. And so when we read that, we said, hey, look, you know, we've always been talking about customer service. Screw customer service. Like, that's guaranteed. You just have to be a good person to work here. We know you're a good person. Be yourself. Don't be over the top. What we want you to do, get the result, make it easy for the patient. That's it. If we do those two things, we will have the most loyal patients in the world. We already do have the most loyal, but they'll continue to be loyal.